The summer is fast approaching, so it's high time to get engaged in some window shopping and potentially find the best ride for your upcoming vacation, or even the whole summer season. In today's video, we'd like to showcase the newest convertible cars that internationally renowned manufacturers prepared for the 2023 and 2024 model years. Our lineup contains both relatively affordable models as well as over-the-top luxury supercars that only millionaires get to enjoy. Either way, it's going to be a fun and educational. So buckle up and enjoy the breezy ride. Porsche 718 Spider RS For the upcoming model year, Porsche has decided to give its iconic mid-engine roadster a significant power boost. Borrowing the six-cylinder, naturally aspirated boxer engine from the 911 GT3, the new 718 Spyder RS gained the status of the most powerful vehicle in the history of the 718 Spyder moniker. The high-revving 4.0-liter engine is getting air via distinctive inlets, located behind the headrest, and breathes out through a lightweight stainless steel sports exhaust. As a result, this engine unit can rev up to 9,000 RPM thus producing upwards 493 horsepower and 331 pound-feet of torque. The generated output is channeled through a short-ratio 7-speed PDK transmission, thus letting you hit the 60 mph mark in mere 3.4 seconds. The 0 to 125 mph acceleration would take just 10.9 seconds, while the top speed is set at 192 mph. The engineers worked on improving the aerodynamics of the 718 Spider RS and tried to shave excess weights where possible. The weight reduction greatly concerned the car's drop top. Porsche went with a single layer soft top. It is manually operated and weighs just 40 pounds. This and other weight reduction techniques helped to achieve the overall weight of 3,108 pounds. The car's interior will greet you with the usual combination of Porsche sportiness and comfort. You will get your full bucket seats with a great lateral support that are covered with black leather and contrasting red color inserts in the center. MG Cyberster The transfer of the MG brand over to the Chinese SAIC group opened a window of opportunity for the revival of this iconic British brand. Over the past years, MG presented several new models with fresh looks and great emphasis on electrification. However, none of them truly embraced the brand's sports car roots. Luckily, MG management decided to address this issue and announced the mass production of MG Cyberster concept. This model harkens back to the company's original roadsters. It has long, low silhouette with a swooping bonnet, large diameter wheels, and an integrated spoiler at the camback tail. The car's scissor doors give you the passage to the modern interior with driver-focused cockpit, yoke-style steering, and a triple-screen layout. While the technical specifications have not been efficiently announced, there are rumors hinting at two powertrain variations, a single-motor rear-wheel drive variation with 310 horsepower on tap, and a dual-motor all-wheel drive variation capable of pushing out 536 horsepower. According to the latest press release, the Cyberster is about to enter production, while the first customer deliveries in UK and Europe are scheduled for the summer of 2024. Gordon Murray T33 Spider Gordon Murray debuted a stunning convertible version of their newest T33 supercar, just as exclusive with 100 copies to be produced and a seven-figure price tag the new T33 Spider features a removable roof. It consists of two lightweight carbon composite panels, stowed in the front trunk when not in use. Dropping the roof required further modifications. The car gets a high-level roof scoop channeling the air right above your head and rollover protection, built into the fixed section of the roof in order to boost aerodynamics. The rear windshield behind the cabin can be electronically lowered or raised to allow you better appreciate the powertrain notes. The Spider also retains the coupe's two rear hinged storage compartments hidden in the door frames. The heart of the supercar is a naturally aspirated 3.9 liter Cosworth V12 engine. It makes 617 horsepower and 333 pound feet of torque, and is mated to a six speed manual transmission.
Ferrari Roma Spider The first soft-roof Ferrari since the 2010 F430 Spider is based on the Roman Coupe, and it retains the 2 plus 2 seating configuration. The model keeps the familiar swooping body with an elongated hood and a raked windscreen. At the same time, it introduces a redesigned rear spoiler for increased downforce, patented wind deflector to reduce buffeting, and a reinforced chassis. Luckily, the car's heart is unchanged. The twin-turbocharged 3.9-liter V8 engine sends 612 horsepower and 561 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels through an 8-speed dual-clutch gearbox. To illustrate, a 0-60 acceleration takes 3.4 seconds. The Spider comes with plenty of standard features, including an 8.4-inch touchscreen infotainment, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto supports, 18-way power-adjustable heated seats, and leather upholstery. Aston Martin DBS 770 Volante This year, Aston Martin is saying goodbye to the current generation DBS with this exclusive model, limited to 300 coupes and 199 Volante convertibles. This convertible version is equipped with an automated folding soft top. It takes 16 seconds to engage and could be operated at speeds below 31 miles per hour. The soft top was specially lined with acoustic fabric and insulated to keep the noise to a minimum. Regardless of the body type, the newcomers will be set apart by a number of bodywork upgrades, including new front splitter and rear diffuser, as well as 21-inch wheels with Pirelli P0 tires and carbon ceramic brakes. The car's chassis benefits from an array of mods, which results in a 25% increase in front and lateral stiffness and at 3% 1 in torsional stiffness. The damper system is recalibrated as well. However, the most meaningful upgrade concerned the drivetrain. The 5.2-liter twin-turbo V12 is modified with a new air intake and an uprated ignition system that improves its turbo boost and makes 770 horses. This figure makes the DBS 770 Ultimate the most powerful Aston Martin ever on sale. The mill is linked to a faster shifting 8-speed ZF gearbox and a mechanical limited slip differential. Ford Mustang Convertible We cannot be sure when the Mustang will be silenced by the electric revolution, but at least for the seventh generation, the iconic pony car remains a gas-guzzling creature. The newcomer arrives with noticeable design updates as well as three powertrain setups, EcoBoost with a 2.3-liter turbo four-cylinder, GT powered by the naturally aspirated 5.0-liter V8, and the track-ready dark horse that utilizes a more sinister 500-horsepower version of the Coyote Mill. Of course, Mustang Convertible is offered only in EcoBoost and GT versions, while the dark horse is reserved exclusively for the coupe body style. The motors could be paired with either a 10-speed automatic transmission or a 6-speed manual if you decide to go with the GT trim. The convertible model received a compact fabric roof design. It can be folded down thanks to the one-touch activation feature. When folded down, the roof takes less space than before, thus providing you with a class-leading trunk space of 10.3 cubic feet. Inside, you will find a revised fighter jet-inspired cockpit. It has a 12.4-inch instrument cluster. 13.2-inch touchscreen in the middle, and optional Recaro seats. Jaguar F-Type 75 Years Convertible It's official. 2024 will be the last year for those who have wanted to purchase a brand new F-Type Coupe or convertible. In order to mark the end of a 75-year production run, Jaguar is bringing limited model run called Edition 75. The vehicles will be offered in both coupe and convertible body styles. The consumers will get to pick between two variations of the 5.0 liter supercharged V8 engine, 450 PS or 575 PS. The 450 PS engine can generate the maximum torque output of 427 pound-feet at 2,500 RPM and let you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds and drive at speeds of up to 177 miles per hour. The motor could be paired with either an all-wheel drive system or a rear-wheel drive system. 
The range-topping 575 PS engine is offered exclusively with an all-wheel drive system. It can push out 516 pound-feet of torque, slashing 0 to 60 time to 3.5 seconds, and raising the top speed to 183 miles per hour. Both engines come with an 8-speed quick-shift transmission and switchable active exhaust system. Other mechanical upgrades of these special editions include lightweight rear knuckles, larger wheel bearings, and redesigned upper ball joints for more responsive steering. Both models come with a rear electronic active differential and adaptive dampers. F-Type 75 edition could be distinguished by gloss black 20-inch wheels and commemorative badging on the front fender, door sills, quad exhaust pipes, and center console. Besides special badging, the interior will treat you with luxurious materials, exquisite design details, and a 12.3-inch reconfigurable driver display. Maserati MC20 Cello From Italian, the name of Maserati's new spider translates as the sky. Its creed is all about embracing the duality of two worlds, boundless freedom of the open top and the same acceleration, power and driving dynamics of the MC20 Coupe. This convertible relies on the reinforced carbon fiber monocoque with butterfly doors and sports a 143 pound retractable hardtop. A 12 second folding two piece canopy is stored in a power opening rear clamshell compartment and it is made of electrochromic glass that can be turned from clear to opaque using polymer dispersed liquid crystal technology. The Cello's heart is the company-developed twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 engine. With 621 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque, it sprints to 60 in 2.9 seconds and tops out at 199 miles per hour. The first edition of this exotic supercar gets a new aqua marina color scheme, two 10.25-inch screens for instrument panel and infotainment, advanced safety assists, premium audio system, and a handcrafted leather interior. How do you like the lineup so far? Should manufacturers produce more affordable convertibles for the masses, or reserve this body style for sports cars and supercars? Share your thoughts below! Let's keep rolling! Catton Healy The Austin Healy 100S, which stands for Sebring, is one of Britain's most iconic post-war sports cars. With only 50 units built between 1953 and 1954, the well-preserved original model today cost over a million dollars, but the up-and-coming startup Catton, in collaboration with Envisage Group, are offering a bargain recreation for half the price, yet double the specs. This timeless masterpiece is brought to life by the original Austin Healey 100 four-cylinder engine, with poured out 3-liter displacement, 185 horsepower, and 195 pound-feet of torque. The Roadster gets a new 9-speed transmission with a conventionally mounted lever on top of the transmission tunnel. The ride was redefined by adding a damper system to the semi-elliptical leaf spring set up in the rear and a double wishbone and adjustable coil spring configuration at the front. As a true coach build, the Captain Healy sports a handcrafted interior with fine leathers and wood. Mini Cooper SE Convertible Mini chooses to ignore all of the electric convertibles that came before it and assigns the title of the world's first mass-produced convertible EV to its Cooper SE. This two-door will be available in Europe in a limited run of 999 numbered vehicles. It will be decorated with exclusive 17-inch cast alloy wheels. They are made of 100% secondary aluminum and feature a unique two-tone design. The Cooper SE Convertible has rich interior equipment like leather lounge seats with heating and adjustable thigh support, Napa leather steering wheel, piano black surfaces, and a round infotainment with e-drive surfaces. Unfortunately, this Mini won't make any improvements on the electric side of things, so the range is still limited to 125 miles, and a 184 horsepower motor can only ensure 0-60 to 60 sprints in 8.2 seconds. AC Cobra GT Roadster Established over 120 years ago, AC is one of Britain's oldest independent automobile manufacturers. 
This year, the company is bringing back the iconic AC Cobra sports car, also known in the US as the Shelby Cobra. The car is returning as a retro-styled roadster that mixes analog and digital technology, and has much improved ergonomics. Once again, at the heart of the Cobra sits a Ford Source drivetrain. This time, it is a supercharged 5.0 liter V8, paired with a 6-speed manual or a modern 10-speed automatic. The mill is good for 663 horses and 575 pound-feet, sending the Roadster flying to 60 in 3.4 seconds. The chassis of the new Cobra GT is performed using aluminum. Its bodywork uses carbon fiber and other composites, while the suspension is said to be developed with input from a professional racing team. Finally, the cabin houses carbon fiber seats, modern infotainment, and AC. Lamborghini Invincible and Authentica Before the brand's first hybrid model makes its debut, Lambo is saying farewell to its iconic, naturally aspirated V12 with two one-off builds, based on the Aventador. The Invincible Coupe and the Authentica Roadster derive elements from a number of past V12-motivated Lamborghinis. The exclusive Refenton, the wild-looking Veneno, and the track-focused Ascenza SC V12. The coupe comes painted in Rosso Efesto, featured contrasting carbon fiber elements, matching brake calipers, single nut wheels, and a larger rear wing. The same color palette is used for the cabin, which gets Rosso Alala leather and Nero Cosmos Alcantara. In case of the Roadster, it wears Grigio Titans paintwork with black highlights and yellow accents on the main aerodynamic components. These include a front splitter, a motorsport style rear wing, and two fins. Its cabin is unique as well, boasting black leather upholstery with contrasting embroidery and two-ton Alcantara. Morgan Plus 4 and Plus 6 Still fresh from their 2020 and 2019 debuts, Morgan's retro sports cars arrive with a few more enhancements. The suspension setup is still the same, but it does benefit from a new shock absorbers and bushings. Both models also feature power steering, electronic stability control, and a whole new braking system developed in collaboration with AP Racing. Even more updates are hidden inside the cabin, which now has a new superformed aluminum dashboard and an instrument panel. The latter can be ordered in matte black, matte silver, or body color matched. Among numerous comfort features added, the most noticeable include wider seats with heating, Sennheiser sound system, an LCD information display, and USB ports. The Roadsters carry over their previous powertrains, which means that the Plus 4 is propelled by a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, while the wider and heavier Plus 6 has a turbocharged 3-liter inline 6. Thank you for sticking till the end. We appreciate your time and want to produce content that will keep you engaged to the very last moment. So don't forget to leave your thoughts about this video below, request new car reviews, and subscribe to Automotive Territory. Have a good one and may the torque be with you.